Hey, New Hope, happy Saturday to you today. Just a word of encouragement for you and a challenge out of 2 Corinthians, both in chapter 8 and chapter 9. Uh, Paul is challenging um, that Corinthian church to prove it. Um, have you ever played uh, horse or pig and you get to your final shot, somebody else makes it, so you're technically out, and you get a chance to tell them to prove it? They get another chance, an opportunity to prove that what they did is real, to make it real life, to solidify what they just did, and to prove to everyone that it's real. Well, Paul uses this word prove multiple times in these two chapters, and he's talking specifically about giving, not just in money, but he says gifts and and. Uh, and, and give your love. So he's talking about our interaction with other people and how we have the opportunity to prove it. In chapter 8, verse uh, 7, it says, Since you excel in so many ways, you have so much faith, such gifted speakers, such knowledge, such enthusiasm, and such love for us. Now I want you to excel also in this gracious ministry of giving. I am not saying you must do it, even though uh, the other churches are eager to do it. This is one way to prove your love is real. It's a way, it's an opportunity that we get to prove who we are as Jesus followers, that our love for people is real. He continues in the next chapter uh, and says, but remember this, a farmer uh, in verse Six, remember this, a farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop, but the one who plants generously will get a generous crop. You must each make up your own mind as to how much you should give. Don't give reluctantly or in response to pressure, for God loves the person who gives cheerfully. And God will generously provide all you need, then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. Um, then if you skip down to verse 10, it says, For God is the one who gives seeds to the farmer and then bread to eat. In the same way, he will give you many opportunities to do good and produce a great harvest of generosity in you. Yes, you'll be enriched so that you can give even more generously. And skipping down, you will be glorifying God through your generous gifts. For your generosity to them will prove, will prove, that you're obedient to the good news of Christ. We have an opportunity during this quarantine time, there's many different people in all walks of life that are struggling in many different ways. And we have an opportunity, we've gifted, it's a gift to this opportunity that we can prove who we are by our actions, by our love, by our gifts, by our generosity, uh, and by our giving. We get to prove it. So what a cool opportunity, New Hope, that we can step into the season and say, yes, missionaries, we're gonna prove our love and our obedience to Christ. Yes, I'm gonna be a faithful with my tithe. Yes, my neighbors, I'm gonna be get generous in what I have, food, supplies, money, time, love, whatever it is, and to them, they'll be able to sit back just like that final shot in horse, and they'll go, yep, it's real. It's real. And so I want to live a life where people around me are looking at me and going, yes, he has proved to me that his love for Jesus and love for people is real. And I want to have a real faith like that. And I hope you do too. So I challenge you, encourage you, wherever the Holy Spirit's leading you, say yes to the ministry of giving and the ministry of love. And let's step out in obedience and watch God prove our faith. Love you, New Hope. Have a good rest of your weekend. We will see you tomorrow.